Hello, beautiful people. Happy Tuesday. Wow. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're all feeling a touch from the Lord. I hope you're feeling his loving arms. And I want to say if you're not, stay on and we will pray for you after we do our Bible verse. I just want to encourage you guys to stay in his word. His word is like food. It's your manna. It keeps you, it just keeps you connected to his heart. As I read, before I read, I always ask him, oh, Holy Spirit, speak to me, speak to me. And even right now, speak to me. Open my eyes and ears to understand. Open my heart to receive what you have for me. Let me know what you want me to know today or this week. Help me to have love, hope, joy, faith to walk on this earth. Help me to be an encourager, not somebody who's depleting people um, of, of their joy. Let me be an encourager in every way. <sighs> Let me walk on this earth the way you created me to walk on this earth. And I just, man, I just say that over you guys too. So we're on Bible memory verse number four. It should be really like this coming weekend, five or the end of the week. But with work and my Wi-Fi, sometimes it might be a couple days late. And I apologize for that. But they will come and they are coming because this is number four. First was Matthew 11, 28 and 29. I did 11, 28 and 29. Second was Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Last week was um, Philippians 4, 7. And this week is Philippians 4, 12 and 13. So I just want to encourage you guys to keep memorizing scripture, put it in your heart. I mean, you think about the way that books are being thrown around and um, edited and things being said. <clears throat> and you know what the Bible says about, excuse me, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> you know what the Bible talks about, you know, um, the end times and, and what, what can happen and there can, there will be persecution and I'm not going to take a risk of not having the word of God in me. I'm just not going to take a risk. I want to make sure because I'm telling you when I'm working, if I'm in a store, if I'm driving and I see or feel something, I often have to call up scripture in my heart in my mind in my mouth and repeat it it happens all the time i need it and i can't just pull out the bible because i'm driving or or i'm somewhere i don't have it i mean yes it's on my phone but i'm a lot of times i don't have the opportunity to just stop so having it in me is then something i can just call out i can just speak that scripture that's the living word of god it's alive and active and it's so important you guys to put it in your heart and you find the verses that are going to speak to you that are going to help you on this earth the ones i'm saying to you guys are the scriptures that help me i do believe they're going to help you too the one we're going to do today i know one of the verses but i'm adding a second verse to it um and this one is going to be Philippians 4, 12 and 13. I've always known 4, 13. It was one of my life scriptures from the time I was a young girl. It was the only one other than the Lord's Prayer that I knew without a doubt. And I've held on to it my whole life. Um, even when I walked away from God and I wasn't serving Him, I, um, I knew that scripture. That scripture never left me just the same as the Lord's Prayer I know that I learned when I was very young um, but I just want to encourage you guys and I hope you're you're enjoying it let me know how you're feeling about it I want to encourage you guys if you hear this please like and subscribe on YouTube 
I'm trying to get that. So I, what I would love to do is be able to go live and share this live, but I can't do it until I have a certain amount of subscribers. I think I have like five or six subscribers, which, Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm thrilled over it. But I also know if this is God's will, he'll breathe on it. But I want to encourage you guys, for those of you who haven't yet, that you're, you're, um, doing the memory verses. If you have a YouTube and you want to like and subscribe, great. If you don't have one, don't, you know, and you're not comfortable with it, don't, by no means, don't do it. But if you are on it, please like and subscribe. Um, I know that's kind of like a plug, but again, I want to be able to share live on places and uh, I feel like it's a way to get the word out there. And I want people to know the word of God and how important the Bible is. It's so important. The Bible is so important. Oh my gosh. Relationship with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Bible, the written living word of God. God breathed are valuable. They're everything to us on this earth. So, okay, you guys. I just want to bless you, Jesus. Be with everyone who hears this word. Lord, be with every single person. Oh, Lord God, who is memorizing scripture, help their mind, their brain to be able to retain it, their heart to know it. God, help this to be living manna for them, that, that it's like feeding them, Father God, and they can feel your presence through it all. Jesus, I thank you so much. You're so good. You're so kind. You're so loving. You are always, always there for us. Lord, I know that no matter what I'm going through, you're with me always. And you're my comforter. You are my comforter. I thank you, Jesus, for all my friends and family. Lord God, I thank you for every one of your children. And Lord, I just want to say, bless the world. Be with the world. Touch hearts right now, Lord, everywhere in the world. Lord, touch the hearts of Americans, Father God. Touch them, bring them back to you, Jesus. Bring them back to you. I know we are all your children, not just some, every one of us. And I know you're so happy for the ones that know you and love you, but you grieve for the ones who don't. So Lord Jesus, we just wanna lift people up to you, God. Thank you, and I praise you in your mighty name, amen. It's just something I wanted to say again. I have to remind myself often that everybody is a child of God, not just us, not just the ones that believe the way we believe, that live the way we live, agree with what we say. Everyone is a child of God. like, And he wants them to know him and have relationship with him. He wants to spend eternity with them. And with the way the world is now, the way like, wow, it changed so fast. Um, this is a great opportunity for more people to come to Jesus. It really is so many. It's like people are either searching and coming to Jesus or they're like going to Satan, like Satan worshipers and, and witchcraft, all of that. So God, we just like claim these people for you, Jesus. And no matter how we feel about politics, I'm not gonna go into that other than I wanna say, for people who don't agree with you or what your thoughts are, pray for those people. Because prayer is what changes the world. Prayer is what changes hearts. So when we pray for a person, we're like literally putting it out there with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, angels, like, cover these people, change their hearts of stone to come back to you, Jesus, or come to you, Jesus. So, yay! That's that's what I wanted to say today, you guys. I just felt it so heavily. I have so many little movies I'm working on that are just like versions of what happens during our life. Um, some where I just feel the, the heart of the Lord speak to me. And I can't go live a lot because I'm either working or I don't have good Wi-Fi. So, I mean, in, in this one spot. So what I've been doing is making videos when I can't get on live. Now there's a place I can go to get to live if my Wi-Fi is not working. So it will eventually come. It just comes a little bit later. 
If that doesn't make sense to you, no big deal. But to get to the point, let's get to our Bible verse. And I'm going to read this one out of um, the NIV. This is a Bible my daughter, Victoria and Jay, um, they bought me quite a few Christmases ago. Let's see. I probably have it in the front. December 25th, 2016. And I just love it. I love it so much. Thank you, my beautiful Mapala family for this Bible. It's so special. Um, I have all my, I have one, two, three, four, five, six Bibles with me right this very second. And I'm looking at a few more um, because two of them are my stand. And one of them, one of them that's my stand, uh, uh, stand is called the Life Recover recovery Bible. This was when I was recovering from all my addictions. And then I have the NIV couples complete Bible. It's for couples and it has a devotional. And then I have the one from Victoria. I have my passion translation. I have my, um, just the, um, King James version. Oh, there. I, I love Bibles. I just love them. And I, what happens is like today I had to make a decision which, um, version I was going to read from. And I've chosen the NIV. So, because I love the way it reads 12, but I'm going to read two for you guys. So here we go out of Philippians 4, 13, 12 and 13. And I just pray that God touches your heart in this reading, you guys. Okay. Let me, I got to flip this page because, um, there's just one little part that's on the first page and it says, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Isn't that beautiful? So my whole life, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's the one I knew. But I decided I love the way it shares 12. So I'm going to relearn this. I'll know the other one, but I'm going to relearn it um, with this. I'm going to read this one again, and then I'm going to read out of the passion. I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him, him, Christ Jesus, who gives me strength. Amen. Hallelujah, you guys. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. So now I just want to read it out of this one, just so you can, the reason I like different translations is the way they just explain it. And sometimes it just speaks to somebody's heart more than it does um, some of the other versions. I know what it means to lack. And I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance. For I'm trained in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. And I find that the strength of Christ's explosive power infuses me to conquer every difficulty. Yes. When he's with us, it's like, that's our superpower, you guys. That's our power. That's how we walk on this earth. When you are in pain, when you are suffering, when you're on in literal physical pain, emotional heart pain, he is the one that will come in and comfort you and give you strength. He will be your food. He will be your lifeline. Yeah, he will. And we do walk through hard times. There are valleys and there are mountains. And in the valleys, we cling to him. And we ask him to be everything to us. We surrender it all to him. And we just, we feel so empty and we just feel like we have nothing left. But we ask God just to take us and to heal us and fill us full of him. And then we learned so much more in that time because there's so much compassion and love and tenderness and 
unity with Christ that then he lifts us up. And each valley and high mountain, it's like this learning and learning and getting closer to him and closer to him. And he will give you strength. He is the one who will give you strength. So, all right, you guys, God bless you. If you have prayer requests, please put them in um, the comments. If you have suggestions of anything, please do it. And God bless you guys. And I love you all. You're amazing.